Hey everybody, it's me, Super Paul Games. We're trying to get a barrel of booze that I'm pretty sure is in one of these uh, soup things. What about those barrels? What about them? What kind of soup is that? It's not so. Uh, uh, it's special soup. What's special about it? It's uh, it's made for grown-ups, kid. A <laughs> soup for grown-ups? That's right, kid. Be nosy. See where it gets you. Oh, come on, cue ball. Just I want grown-up soup. Nice rack. Yeah, we got all kinds of uh, culinary enhancements back there. It's kind of blocked off there, isn't it? Yeah, but what can you do? How do I get back there? Before I couldn't run back there. That's why they can't have meetings in the basement, the uh, Sobriety Foundation. What are those tables for? We keep a few extra tables around for our end of the month hobo soirees. Could you move them out of the way? Not a chance. I could throw out my back. All right, um... Hey, where do you think you're going? The kitchen? The kitchen's for management only, rummy. All right, so obviously this is a booze front. Wait, what about that bowl? Uh, excuse me. Yeah. Can I have a bowl of soup? You're a soup kitchen. What do you think? Uh, what kind of soup is this? It, it tastes like... Scrolle Ribolita? I was gonna say weak old cabbage. Everyone's a critic. Look. All I got to work with is this two-bit soup in a barrel and spice rack that hadn't been restocked since the Coolidge administration. What do you think I should do to perk this slop up? Let's see. Have you tried... Uh, paprika. Paprika? Paprika? Uh, I, I just think it could use a little uh, color. Color? Hmm. Oh, sweet. I got him to move the rack. Maybe if I lean on the door now? Hey, what's up, Emmett? <sighs> Push it. Ah. There's no way I'm going to keep that door open without some help. Huddle up, Emmett. Huddle? Just listen up for a second. All right, I think I figured out which barrels have the hooch. Then what are you waiting for? He's not just gonna give me a barrel. Of course. Well, you seem to have a way with people, so I'll leave it up to you to trick that lummox into giving up his moonshine. Emmett, I can't get into the door over there. Those tables are jamming it shut. The door? So your plan is to just waltz in there and take a barrel of alcohol? Uh, no, of course not. That would be stupid, right? I'll say. Still, I'd like to get that door open. I can't do anything from out here. Well, it's a simple matter of physics. A lever, some sort of stop. Let me see what I can come up with. Uh, all right. You got anything there? Popping a squat? <laughs> So if I get him to move that again, Doc, are you on that? Oops, I didn't mean to do that. 
There's no way I'm gonna keep that door open without some help. All right, okay, Doc. I'm gonna assume you got this, right? Here, I'll go uh, tell him I want some more spice in my soup. Okay, I've got some more ideas about your soup. Do tell. Let's see. Have you tried... giving the soup a little heat, maybe? Why, is it getting cold? No, I, I mean, like chili powder. Muy caliente. Oh, bit of a tough guy, huh? Actually, I like it spicy, too. But it's gotta be edible for the common folks. <laughs> Come on, a little dash isn't gonna kill anyone. Aw, oh, heck. You got moxie, kid. Let's spice it up a bit, shall we? It's been a while since anyone told me I had moxie, so I've heard that before. <laughs> Only ever heard it from people out west. It's like, what is it, the 1930s? Uh, Doc, you got that? Doc? Are you gonna help? There's no way I'm gonna keep that door open without some help. You're not even helping, Doc. You're right here. Doc, why don't you, uh... Damn it! You gonna help now, Doc? Do you want to help guy? <laughs> I better not talk to him. I don't want to mess up his timeline. How are you not helping, Doc? Alright, let's see what I'm missing. those all cabbage soup? Last time I checked. Don't you have any other kinds of soup? No. Excuse me. You talking to me? What's a tough guy like Kid Tannen doing running a soup kitchen? Mr. Tannen purchased the soup kitchen from the Sisters of Mercy in an effort to repair his reputation as a respectable community figure after his fine name was besmirched by the malignant and malicious, malicious the actions of the misguided vandals that, that, that done burned down his place of business. It's speakeasy. I cannot confirm nor deny any claims of so-called illegal bootlegging at the... the... <laughs> Just eat your damn soup, hip squeak. <laughs> Why is the soup in a barrel? Cause it's hard to ladle off the floor. I still think the soup needs more flavor. Why doesn't Doc want to help me with it? Eureka! Oh wait, Doc got the door open part of the way. I hope Doc Jr.'s thingamabob holds out. So what do I do now? Pretty neat, Doc. <laughs> nope. I'm still not getting through here. But at least those tables are propped up now. Alright, good job, Emmett. I don't know why I didn't do that the first time. Maybe I edited it out the first time if you didn't see it do it more than once. Um... Ahem. <clears throat> What is it, kid? So this place used to be a soup kitchen. What do you mean, used to be? 
<clears throat> Despite recent changes in ownership, this joint is still available for the purposes of distributing food to the needy and the not so well to do. And no other purposes whatsoever. Right. I still think the soup needs more flavor. I'll figure this out sooner or later. Ah, oh, bingo! Ah, Miss Strickland, come for some more soup? Come now, Mr. Donnelly. You know I wouldn't set one foot in this mockery of all that is good and decent if the poor of Hill Valley weren't so dependent on Mr. Tennant's overblown show of generosity. Was that a yes? Just give me the soup before I gag on the hypocrisy. Yeah! That's the good barrel. I'll tell the boss you said hello. I'll just bet you will. Those orphans are going to get a lot of booze. And they picked up the barrel of hooch. Now all I have to do is to get it from her somehow. All right, let's go out there and see if we can borrow it from her. What's up, Emmett? Good job with the uh, little lever thingy device. That took me longer than I thought it would. You're probably watching me like, that's so easy. And I'm like, <laughs> I'm trying my best. All right, let's... uh. Wait, where's... Okay, there's Edna. Hey, uh, Miss Strickland. Oh, hello, Mr. Corleone. I'm afraid I haven't much time. The meeting of the Stay Sober Society is due to begin very soon. God. You asked me to tell you if one of the local charities is running low on soup. Does somebody need a visit for my soup cycle? Ah, oh, dang it, no. I need it. The Stay Sober Society. The Stay Sober Society? That's right. They'll soon be gathering at the Brown Estate, and we haven't provided refreshments. I can't get over the generosity of your friend Emmett, volunteering his father's house for our meeting. Huh? Oh, wait there! Michael! What in the name of Thomas Alva Edison do you think you're doing? Don't you get it? You need alcohol to run your drill, right? Those bootleggers at the soup kitchen won't let us get our hands on any of their hooch. But we can get Miss Strickland to pick it up for us and deliver it right to your door. No! Out of the question! Why? I can't just let strangers invade my parents' house. What do we know about these people? They're sober. It says so right in the name. Well, okay, but... A pop needs his peace and quiet at the end of the day. This meeting is sure to be too noisy for him. What's wrong with a little noise? It'll be like a party. My pop is not the partying type. They'll be quiet. You'll be quiet, right? Oh, yes! I play my tambourine very softly. You hear that? Yes, but... But what? But it's still impossible. The thing of the Stay Sober Society, what'll happen to them? They can all fall off the wagon for all I care. <laughs> Okay, forget the whole thing. We don't have to test your rocket power drill tonight. We don't? No. I'll take the train back to Washington and I'll tell the folks at the office to give the patent to Dr. McCoy. Wait! You will instruct the members of the society to wipe their feet before they come inside. Then you are, Emmett Brown. I thought as much. You have such a righteous face. Edna Strickland, I don't know how to thank you for your generosity. Oh, um, uh, pleased to meet you. The feeling is mutual. I've got a bad feeling about this. Now you worry too much, Emmett. Now all we gotta do is serve that subpoena, and we're off to build your rocket drill. And get my patent. Yeah, your, uh, patent. 
Excellent, excellent, excellent. We got the alcohol, now we just gotta subpoena the grandpa. I got an idea, actually. I don't know if this will work or not. Okay, there's Kid Tannen. Let's get out our handy dandy uh, tape recorder. Maybe if we could record him saying something? Oh, his friend's name is Matches. Come on, please work. If so, then I love this puzzle, because it just made logical sense. A little flop house? That seems like fun. I can flop everywhere. Flip flop. Well, well, look who's back! They say rats always return to the scene of the sinking ship. Uh, get him, Matches! Oh, I, I don't know if I'm recording anything. I wanted to record him saying something. Dang it. Uh-oh. Don't kill me. <laughs> don't kill me. Uh, can I'm I down from... What do you think you're doing up there, you scrawny little runt? Get down here right now! Well, I was right about recording. Maybe not exactly how it worked. Don't make no, me um, angry, Schmucko. Einstein, scare Get down. them. Einstein, help! Lay off! Get away from that crazy Get mutt! Go, go away, dog. We're busy here. Go on, scram! Hey, where'd he go? You let him get away, idiot! Yeah, good job, matches. All right, let's try and avoid them. Come on, Emmett. Uh, do I have to talk to you first? We can... Okay, we know how to get... We'll get that subpoena delivered. Yeah, we can go do that right now. Let's do it, boys. Can I run? There we go. Doc's gonna be so proud of us. So far, we haven't ruined the space-time continuum. Oops. It's a good thing that they're delivering the booze to uh, the Brown Estate. Uh, and not to the orphanage, otherwise those kids would be getting drunk. What now? Let's get out our tape recorder and fool Grandpa. What do you think you're doing up there, you scrawny little runt? Get down here right now! It's Kid! Right away, boss! Ah, uh, where's Kid? Uh, I have something for you, Grandpa. Sorry. I'm sorry. I'm subpoenaing my own grandpa. I feel bad. Arthur McFly? Yeah? Got something for you. Thanks. A subpoena? Ordering you to appear in court and provide evidence in the investigation into- Kid Tannen? Take it back! You can't get rid of it, Mr. McFly. Once you've been served, it's your duty to report to the court at the earliest possible time. Failure to do so could lead to a warrant for your arrest. Arrest? But kid will kill me. Stupid, stupid Artie. Holy cats, what am I gonna do? I suggest you avail yourself to the protection of the court. Oh gosh, oh gosh. Well, we've served the subpoena and gotten a barrel of booze delivered to your house. Looks like we're off to your lab to build your rocket drill. Ah, uh, you do have a lab, right? What kind of future patent holder would I be without a lab? Come on! Doc! I'm off to get the rocket drill. Good! <gasps> Come on, let's go! Time waits for no man!
Are you sure this is gonna work, Emmett? Don't let the ramshackle nature of my laboratory fool you. If all goes according to plan, we'll soon be in possession of the most powerful rocket fuel known to man! That's great! Uh, how? Well, it's very simple. This crankshaft induces a powerful direct current into the electrolysis chamber, producing hydrogen which must be periodically released into the primary distillation barrel! While tending to the hydrogen, we'll also need to regularly sprinkle these shredded protein flakes into this aquarium of tuber bacteria to generate the necessary nitrogen to catalyze the reaction! Cool. Oh, hot! Extremely hot! The temperature of the reaction must be kept at a steady temperature of 623 degrees Kelvin by carefully pumping these bellows! Any questions? Uh... What? Uh... Hey, Matt? Why is there a brace of drunkards gathering on our lawn? <laughs> Sweet fancy Moses, it's my father! So? So, he doesn't know I'm engaging in acts of scientific exploration in here. He thinks this is where I go to pour through my law books. Oh. You tend to the reaction. I'll try to get rid of him. Tend to the... what? Can't we just start over after he's gone? It's too late. The reaction's already started. Don't worry. I'll try to help you out where I can. But... Start coming, father! Father! Don't you father me, child! Oh, oh dang it, poor no, Jack. Fire pop. Alright, next either, time we'll do that and build the rocket fuel. <laughs> Thanks for watching, everybody. Someday you are going to